updates first from the 16th BRICS summit in Kazan in Russia. Now, on the final day of the summit, Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping have sounded alarm over escalating tensions in West Asia. Now, at the summit, Russian President Vladimir Putin warned that West Asia is on the verge of a full-scale war. The military action that started a year ago in Gaza has now spread to Lebanon. Other countries in the region are also affected. The level of confrontation between Israel and Iran has sharply risen. This is all reminiscent of a chain reaction and puts the whole Middle East on the verge of full-scale war. On the other hand, China's President Xi Jinping claimed that the world still faces serious challenges to its peaceful development and called for a total ceasefire in Gaza and a stop to the spread of war in Lebanon. Thirty-six countries are participating in the BRICS Outreach Plus format on the final day of the summit in Russia's Kazan. And this comes a day after the BRICS leaders adopted the Kazan summit declaration, which summarized the summit's outcome and Russia's term as BRICS chair. Now, at the BRICS Plus Summit, India's External Affairs Minister S. Jayashankar said that as the world order changes, international law must be respected and there must be zero tolerance to terrorism. Addressing conflicts and tensions effectively is a particular need of the day. Prime Minister Modi has emphasized that this is not an era of war. Disputes and differences must be settled by dialogue and diplomacy. Agreements, once reached, must be scrupulously respected. International law should be adhered to without exception. And there should be zero tolerance for terrorism. Also on the sidelines of the BRICS summit, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and President Xi Jinping took the first step towards thawing bilateral ties which have been frozen for nearly five years now. The two leaders underlined that maintaining peace on the border should be their priority. The meeting came after India and China announced a patrolling arrangement along the line of actual control. Sidan Sibyl, Beyond's assistant editor for foreign affairs, now with us live from Kazan, Russia. Sidan, final day of the summit. 36 countries participated in the BRICS Outreach Plus format. The Russian president scheduled to several bilateral meetings, including with the Palestinian president Mahmoud Abbas and the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. Now, this is, of course, Putin's first meeting with Guterres for the first time in over two years. Just summarize the day for us. Well, it was a packed day. In fact, a packed two days when it comes to the BRICS summit. Uh, when we talk about Russia, the host, uh, it clearly sent out a message, a message first that it is not isolated despite the Western attempts amidst the Ukraine conflict. Uh, uh, the Russian president uh, was able to have approximately more than 10 to 15 bilateral meetings, including leaders uh, from the BRICS countries uh, like India, China and South Africa and other countries who have been invited including the Turkish president, uh, the Venezuelan leader, uh, he is going to shortly meet the Palestinian uh, president as well and send a message that it has allies and friends in the global south, in Asia. There have been in fact number of pictures we saw of the Russian president being flanked by the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Chinese President Xi Jinping. Those pictures will be closely watched in, in in the western capitals and uh, uh, these two countries represent almost half the humanity and almost half the humanity now being seen supportive of Putin is a big message in many senses especially when it comes to the European capitals all in all it was uh, a very successful hosting of uh, the BRICS uh, groupings meeting where emphasis was on alternative payments mechanism on the expansion of the grouping and the rise of um, 
a new world order which is a non western world order in fact if you hear the statements made by the indian uh, uh, prime minister narendra modi and uh, the indian external affairs minister dr s jay shankar earlier today that was the emphasis uh, quoting indian external affairs minister i would say that he said that brics is a statement that how profoundly the old world order is changing and here in kazan whatever happened in last two years uh, last two days in fact is reflective of uh, uh, russia's emerging role but also uh, the emerging role of the brics grouping not just in last two years since of course uh, uh, the war broke out but in last 16 years this was the 16th edition of the brics uh, uh, grouping and the first edition in fact i would end by saying happened here in russia itself the first summit of the bric grouping happened happened in Russia's Yekaterinburg it's again happening this time in Kazan but the message is clear of a non western world order Siddhant the Russian president also uh, conducted a news conference to conclude the 3 day summit any key to week takeaways there that we haven't already focused on In fact not just his press conference uh, but his statements uh, both at the BRICS uh, plus summit and the BRICS summit yesterday focused on following th- uh, key points these key points includes that we need to have an alternate payments mechanism uh, we know that all in all focus uh, in the BRICS grouping especially led by Russia and China has been on uh, a payments mechanism which is not dominated by the west and why this is happening is primarily because after the ukraine conflict we know that russia was removed from the swift banking system uh, and that is why russia is keen on trading in national currencies there is work in progress when it comes to a brics bridge brics pay as well indian prime minister in fact during his statement mentioned about trading in the national currencies other than that the russian uh, presidency the russian president has been focusing on global issues especially uh, the crisis in west asia that dominated the summit uh, the brics plus summit earlier today the fact that he has invited uh, the palestinian president uh, is something that will be closely watched in israel uh, we know that when it comes to uh, russian stakeholdership in west asia uh, through this summit and through this invitation that has been sent out to the palestinian uh, russia has been able to send a message yet again to the western capital over its role in west asia so several uh, key issues that dominated from the russian side uh, uh, whether it is uh, the brics uh, the, the payments mechanism whether it's the expansion or whether it, it is uh, the role played by russian diplomacy uh, in terms of engaging with the global south Thank you so much Siddhant for joining us with the latest yet again from the BRICS summit. For all the latest news download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.